tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to channel. Today, we're diving into the world of immersive displays as we unveil the best budget ultra-wide monitors of 2024. If you're on the hunt for a visually stunning yet affordable setup, number five Corsair Xenian Flex 45 WQHG 240. The Corsair Xenian Flex 45 WQHD 240 OLED is one of the first bendable displays to hit the PC gaming scene. It's a costly piece of hardware, but it gives you a whole new experience that you won't get from any other ultra-wide gaming display or gaming monitors in general, for that matter. We actually mean bendable when we say this display's panel can curve up to 800R. That means you can pretty much play any PC game genre you want on this monitor at the best immersion curve. It can also completely flatten games like Rocket League and Sid Meier's Civilization VI. Its flex actually is its flex. The Corsair Xenian Flex 45 WQHD 240 OLED is far from flawless. The bending mechanism is still awkward, and for such a costly piece of kit, there are certain restrictions imposed by its bendable nature. ATR10 support is also lacking. However, if you're looking for a genuinely adaptable and immersive gaming monitor with great picture quality and rich colors, this is well worth it. That is, you are able to afford it. Corsair has a history of producing high-quality gaming displays, and the Corsair Xenian Flex 45 WQHD 240 OLED is no exception. Clearly, 3440 x 1440 is more than enough to produce outstanding visual quality, even if its pixel density of 83 ppi may annoy some gamers. Number 4 BenQ EGU 3880R the BenQ EW 3880R is equally suitable for business and entertainment. It has a gentle curvature that improves immersion, an Ultra HD resolution of 21 to 9, and eye comfort features that improve productivity. It is a productivity dream thanks to its ability to display four full size to four pages, massive spreadsheets, and vast graphical working spaces. Furthermore, its Ultra HD 3000. 840x1600 resolution maintained everything crisp and in great relief during testing, while its evenly lighted panel combined with the matte screen kept us from feeling exhausted even after extended durations of work. When it comes to media consumption, the built-in 2.1 sound system is pretty outstanding, not to mention space-saving because you won't need a pair of external speakers. It's pricey and not very conducive to gaming. When playing fast-paced games, you may see motion blur, visual tearing, and skipped frames. However, if you have the money to spend on a high-quality display for both work and leisure, it's a clear winner. The BenQ EDU 3880R is an excellent monitor for business and video consumption, but it falls short when it comes to competitive gaming. It's pricey, but for a casual computer user who spends hours in front of a screen and doesn't require great technical performance, or is looking to increase work efficiency, it could be appealing. Because of the brown hue on the speaker grill below the screen and on the stand, the EDOE 3000 880R's panel looks like it belongs in a modern, compact living room. The stand, on the other hand, shouts that it's still a computer monitor at heart, making it unsuitable for being the focal point of a family living room. Having a computer display stand, on the other hand, provides advantages. It has a broad range of adjustments, including a minus 5 to 15 tilt, minus 15 to 15 swivel, and a 120 mm height adjustment. The big cute away at the base of the display at the back, which can be covered with a detachable panel, makes accessing the input ports reasonably simple. Just keep in mind that the power cord attaches on the left side, which may cause complications if all of your power sockets are on the right. The three-piece design makes it simple to assemble stand, stem, and panel. There is no quick release system, so you'll need the provided hex key screwdriver and four screws to secure the panel to the stem. BenQ makes a big deal about its HERA simulated HER capability. This can be accessed via OSD controls, a button on the bottom right of the speaker grill, or the tiny remote provided. It has three modes, Cinema HDRI, Game HDRI, and HER. When Windows HER is enabled, Cinema HDRI appears to thrill by removing huge, significant details and objects from the screen, particularly in bright places. 
Game HDRI seeks to prevent adversaries from hiding in shadows and shines by lowering localized darkness and brightness through contrast range compression, although it barely makes a difference. Number 3 Dell S3422 DWG While some ultrawide monitors in the mid-range price category, such as the LG 34 GP 83AB, offer performance advantages over models in the lower mid-range price category, such as the Dell S3000, 422 DWG, which is very good overall and performs well for different uses. It features a smaller screen than the LG 40GWP 95CEW at 34 inches, but it's still large enough to open windows side by side, and it has an 1800R curve that helps bring the screen's edges closer to you. It boasts a VA panel that performs well in dark areas by displaying deep blacks, and it also gets bright enough to combat glare if used in a bright setting. It is suitable for office use due to its 3440x1440 resolution and high font clarity, as well as its additional features like its USB connections. However, it has narrow viewing angles that cause the image to be inconsistent from the sides. So if you prefer something with wider viewing angles, the Gigabyte M34 EVQ is another option. It contains extra features such as a USB-C connector and a KVM switch. However, it might be difficult to find at times. The Dell S3000 422 DWG is a high-quality 34-inch 1440 ultra-wide monitor with a VA panel. It has superb black uniformity and contrast, so it looks amazing in a dark room. It's also not bad in a bright setting, with superb reflection control and a high peak brightness in SDR. It is primarily promoted as a gaming monitor. It provides an outstanding gaming experience with a good response time at the maximum refresh rate, little input lag, and support for FreeSync variable refresh rate technology. Although not technically GSINC compatible, it is feasible to use GSINC over DisplayPort. Nevertheless, it does not operate properly if your frame rate falls below 60 Fs. Unfortunately, like most VA panels, the image diminishes at an angle, making it unsuitable for co-op gaming. The Dell S3000 422 DWG gaming display is excellent. It boasts a low input lag, a good response time at the highest refresh rate, and a few fantastic gaming features, like FreeSync support. With a superb contrast ratio and outstanding black uniformity, the huge, ultra-wide screen provides a more immersive gaming experience and looks amazing in a dark room. Number 2 LG 40 WP 95 C Hero. The LG 40 WP 95 C Hero is an ultra wide display designed solely for business and productivity. It differs from the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 slash G95 NAS 49 AG 95 in that it has a smaller 21 to 9 aspect ratio and 40 inch screen, as well as poorer image quality. This is due to the lack of mini-LED backlighting, which does not provide the same deep blacks as the Samsung, making it less suitable for use in dark environments. However, it is superior to the Samsung model for office work and productivity because it has additional capabilities specialized to such purposes. It even boasts a greater resolution of 5120x2160, which results in incredibly sharp text clarity. It includes two USB-C ports that enable Thunderbolt 4 and 96W power transmission, so you can easily connect a laptop to display an image from it while also charging it. Number 1 Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 The Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 slash G95 NAS 49 AG 95 is the greatest ultra-wide monitor we've tested, and it's useful for a variety of applications. It is classified as a super ultra-wide monitor, due to its 49-inch screen and 32 to 9 aspect ratio, which is similar to using two 27-inch monitors side by side. This offers a lot of screen area for multitasking and an aggressive 1000R curve that draws the screen's borders closer to you. Even still, it may take some getting used to, especially if you're not used to curved screens. It produces enough light to combat glare and has good reflection handling, which is essential in bright settings. Even in low-light environments, it boasts a high contrast ratio that displays deep blacks, and its mini-LED backlighting delivers superb local dimming. This means that it has excellent image quality, 
and is ideal for watching your favorite entertainment. Guys, that concludes our top 5 best budget ultrawide monitors of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.